Hello beautiful Geminis, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Gemini. This is strictly how your person of interest with whom you interact is thinking, feeling, and what they may do, their possible actions. So let's look at the bottom of the deck. Three of Swords, Gemini, what's going on? Is your person in a third party situation with you? Look at that sadness. Oh, okay. So it looks like uh could be tricky. Okay. So the current situation with your person in terms of how they feel about you is that they are invested in the relationship. Seven of coins energy is Taurus. Three of swords is Libra. Strength card. Their attraction to you is very, very powerful. They like hanging out with you. They want to be with you. This is a major arcana card. It's a very powerful attraction. The infinity symbol says that you may have visited one another in a number of lives. You may have known this person, but this person's attraction isn't going anywhere. And the, this is Taurus energy, very fixed energy. So their emotions do not change easily. Bringing you into the reading, this person is very focused on their work, on their coin, on making their life better. They're just definitely working at mastery and manifesting. In the recent past, the energy is a Ten of Swords. So in the recent past, it does look like there was some sort of breakup. It looks as though there was a parting, a separation of some sort. The best that can be achieved at the current time, beautiful energy, Cancerian energy. Your person's coming to see you, quite literally. This is the emperor driving the chariot. This is the best that can be achieved in a reading. It's called the crown of the energy. And we have the two horses. When the, the emperor is driving the two horses, it's about yin-yang energy. It's about, you know, it's about diverse energy and managing the energy so that you can have a good outcome and not tip over the stage, coach. So in the near future, the energy is your person is going to take a bit of time. Uh, Pisces energy, they're going to be really thinking a lot about the situation, they're trying to see how to view it differently. They're viewing it differently. They're trying to look at this in a very spiritual manner is what I'm getting, Gemini. This is Cancerian energy. Very nurturing energy, by the way. In the reading right now, what we're seeing is that this person has walked away from the relationship, or they will in the near future. Um, this energy really speaks to the fact that they've disengaged emotionally with you. It looks as though that happened over here. They still have fire in the belly. I mean, it's a weird reading because I don't see them leaving the relationship in terms of talking about leaving, making plans to leave. It's more like, well, I don't know what to do, so I won't do anything. And it does leave you feeling very alone. But what we're seeing here is that your person does look like they walk away from the relationship. That's where the broken heart is coming in. They're thinking about that right now. They're not in the energy yet. But if something doesn't change about the third party situation, the Ten of Swords, something has to change in their life to make this relationship work. And right now, for those for whom I'm reading, it looks as though they don't think it's possible. They feel as though there's something that they have to deal with. Again, I feel like this is very much. They could just simply be married to someone else. So we're going to clarify the cards so we can really better predict what's, what the meaning of these cards is. So, But we see your person you know, looking into the future, feeling as though they're at a crossroads, feeling as though they still have fire in the belly. They still want romance with you. So let's see. What is the Seven of Pentacles energy and why is it here? For our beautiful Geminis. This person's invested. How and why? The Hierophant. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that I feel as though for those of you who are single, your person's simply married, period. You know, the Hierophant energy shows that, you know, they're very invested in the status quo in their life. They're working hard, but when I get the Hierophant card... It shows that they love you enough to marry you, um, but it does show that they're feeling as though, you know, they can't go anywhere with this. Okay, so why do we have the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Maybe dealing with a Leo. 
the Page of Cups. All they have to offer you, Gemini, is a Page of Cups energy. They're not coming in with King of Cups energy. They're not coming in with King, Queen energy for you. We're not seeing that here. Okay, so why do we have the Ten of Swords in the past? Six of Pentacles. So your person really couldn't give you anything of substance. It looks like there's breadcrumbing. It looks like they may feel as though you breadcrumbed them also. That's really a powerful feeling that I have is that your person felt all alone. The Hermit card. They didn't feel like they were in a partnership is what I'm getting. But if they're in another partnership, that's, you know, pretty hard to deliver something that they've taken off the table prior to having met you. Okay, so the energy of the Queen of Pentacles is clarifying the Chariot card. So it does speak to the fact that the two of you might work together. We have the King of Swords that came out at the same time. Your person's being very strategic, so if you do work together, it looks like working together will continue. A personal relationship, though, may can't come to an end. Oh, okay. I'm getting this energy, though, that your person feels as though if they're in another relationship that they don't have an option. Six of Cups, they want to reunite with you. We're seeing this energy of them being very brokenhearted at the idea of leaving you behind. They feel lonely without you with that Hermit card, the Ten of Swords. They feel like they're a sacrificial lamb. So for those of you who are involved in a third party, this person's not, not like getting anything that they had hoped to get for sure. They feel very tethered. They would like to come to you. That's what I'm seeing. Your person would like to come to you with that chariot card. There's no doubt about it. With this energy of building something very powerful, but then they think that they, they're held back. Four of Swords shows that your person's healing shows that they feel as though they cannot they've they've already committed that's how i'm reading that hanged man i can't commit to you gemini because i'm already committed so six of wands seven of wands energy says that they can't really defend their position here they're walking away because they're well they're trying to defend their position to protect another relationship and the moon card says, that, you know, you don't trust that. They're, they're just really very in a defensive position, trying to convince you there's no other option. Uh, the nine of cups says that they really have enjoyed their time with you, but the moon card says that they're still not really going to linger here. Even if you try to hold on to them, I'm not seeing this work, Gemini. Okay, so let's see what the, why the nine of wands is here. Temperance card. So your person really does want to keep working with you. They want that relationship. The sun card says that they are still absolutely smitten with you. The sun card says that they have so many good memories, so many romantic memories. This person didn't come in as a king for you. They came in as a knight of cups. They're staying the knight of cups. And in so doing, we have one, two, yeah, we have one, two, three, four. So we have four swords here again. It seems like there's more than one. But we have this person healing. So we're really seeing the three of swords, the four of swords, but this person feels as though they have to leave the connection, at least at this time. So readings are always, you know, in the moment. Let's look and see what the Moonology deck has to say for you here. What's the energy for our beautiful Gemini friends with this connection? What will this person do? Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Take time to breathe out. All right, Jim Jim, I'm sorry to say this was not the best reading that you've ever had. But at least you know where you stand. For those for whom it resonates, if not, you know, go check out your moon rising or Venus. Thank you so much, Gemini. It's been a joy and uh, an honor to provide this reading.